What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying a realistic bait fish pattern. In my local waters they have baby perch so I'm going to be tying this perch color but you can change the colors to whatever bait fish are in your area. So I'm starting with a 1 16th ounce black jig head and you can put eyes on this if you want to make it even more realistic. For the thread I'm going to be using an olive 70 denier UTC ultra thread. And then for the tail, I'm going to be using grizzly marabou. So we're going to take uh, three of these grizzly feathers because they're really sparse. About the length of the hook. And I'm going to line those up. And just tie them onto the jig. So we're just going to take our time winding these up. Make the body nice and even. And like I said, you can change out the colors. You could be using an olive marabou, brown, uh, white, whatever your local bait fish are. Then we're going to take those feathers and clip them off. And we're going to tie this down good. Straighten that tail, do whatever you need to. For the body, I'm going to be using this honey and olive striped chenille. It has some sparkle in it. So I'm just going to take a piece and tie that in here. Make sure the tag end goes to about the head so that it can be evenly distributed onto the body. Wind the thread back down. And back up again. This is just to add a little more girth. Now I'm just going to start winding this chenille. You want each turn to be pressed up against the last so that there's no gaps. And once we get to the head, we're just going to tie that off. Give it a couple good turns, and once it's tied down good, we can clip the chenille. Alright, and that looks good as is, but I'm going to add a little more to make it very realistic. So I'm going to be adding some UV Ice Dub in Olive Brown. This is a really cool dubbing. It has some purple, amber, and green UV fibers in it. So we're just going to grab a little clump of that and stack those fibers. To stack them, we're going to take the clump and pull the fibers apart between our thumb and forefinger like this. And you're just going to line up the ends every time you pull them apart until they're lined up. Then we're going to take those and separate them like so. And now we're going to hold it with just enough pressure to keep the fibers in place, do a super loose wrap, and cinch it down. And these fibers are going to cover the top half of the jig here. And we're going to grab another clump and cover the bottom half. So this one's going to be a little bit smaller clump, and you'll see why in a minute. So just stack those. Turn the jig over, and again hold them with just enough pressure to keep them in place. A loose wrap, and cinch it down. And now we're going to have the whole jig covered in these UV fibers. So we're going to pull all these back and tie it down. Just a couple wraps in front. We want to pull back as many of these fibers as possible. And just make sure they cover the sides a bit. There we go. Now we're going to whip finish. And we can cut our thread. And this ice dub will want to come out, so we'll just stroke it back a few times to get the loose fibers out. You can also use a dubbing brush or Velcro to do this. 
So just pull back any of the fibers that are loose. Just gonna get these ones underneath. And that should be good. So that's what it looks like now. And I'll show you what it looks like wet. So take a look at that. Look how realistic that is. You can see the stripes of that grizzly marabou. And then the colors in that UV fiber and the shape it gives the jig is super realistic. The reason we did more fibers on the bottom of the jig is because it creates kind of the belly of the bait fish. It just makes it more realistic. But yeah, as you can see, it, it's an incredible jig. It looks super realistic. It'll catch tons of fish. Just change the colors to whatever bait fish are in the water you're fishing and you'll catch crappie, perch, walleye, bass, trout, pretty much anything that bites a jig. Let me move out of the way here so you can see the color with a different background. Yeah, tie some up for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.